If you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. If you want to emulate somebody, you better pick very carefully who you want to emulate. If you get to be 65 or 70 and later, and, and the people that you want to have love you actually do love you, you're a success. These are the seven rules of money to consider for 2022. Welcome back to Investment Tribe, where you've subscribed because you want to learn and generate money from cryptocurrency and other digital assets. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and enable the notifications so you will be alerted whenever we post a new video. Also, don't skip any parts of this so that you don't miss out on important details. And if you have any questions or recommendations, please share them in the comments section below. The topic of today's video is a little bit more general. If one of your goals next year is to earn more money, you need to know the 7 rules of money to consider for 2022. So you better stay tuned until the end. Let's start. Rule number 1. Money is a game. If you play by its rules, you expect that you're going to earn more of it. It's basic science. If you want to get the result, you need to do certain things in a certain way. Experience can be gained through failure and you cannot formulate experience. If you learn the inner workings of money, its movements and directions, the laws of our financial system, then you can pretty much do anything with it. The problem with us is that we see money as this evil device that came from Satan when it certainly is not. I remember when I was a kid, even though I belonged in a middle class family and both my parents had stable jobs, money seemed like it was never enough. My parents avoided talking about it, especially when we have dinner. It was like this evil thing that if we talked about it, it will appear and devour us all. And I think that's the problem with most people. The negative associations that they had about money when they were kids get stuck with them for the rest of their lives. They learned that money is the root of evil and they should hate rich people. And that is why most of us are afraid of playing the game of money. But I want you to understand that money is neutral. It is just a tool. It is merely a piece of paper if you think about it. As Adam Smith pointed out, the individual egoism that comes from the power of money is good for the development of society as the market only allows value to be rewarded with money. So if you want to start earning money by next year, learn the rules of the game of money and remove its negative associations. Rule number two, cash is king. Some people might get mad at this rule, but for most that experience financial crisis in their lives, they will probably say that cash is king and it will forever be. You will always hear people say that you need to invest, 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 and not keep your money in the bank as it will just collect dust and lose its value over time due to inflation. Well, this only applies when times are good, but crisis hits all the time. Most notable is this pandemic that we are still facing right now. And when that hits, you're gonna need that backup cash. In my opinion, saving is far more important than investing, especially when you're just starting to become financially aware. I see many young people become obsessed with investing that they even gamble their savings with investment schemes that they don't truly understand. It doesn't matter if you're a business owner or you work in an office. You need some backup cash that you don't touch in case of crisis and emergencies. Believe me, you will thank me in the future if you follow this rule. That backup cash will be the one that will save you from going bankrupt and homeless if you ever lose your job when another crisis hits the world. But don't get me wrong, it is not my point to stop you from investing and taking risks right now. My point being is that you should do this very, very carefully. Think about your every action. I think that 3 to 12 months worth of savings are the bare minimum if you want to start playing the game and most of us don't have that kind of money. Many of us are in constant race with bankruptcy so you better assess your situation first before investing. I know, investing is the best way to increase your money, but you need to be safe first and be sure to have a roof over your head when a crisis hits. Rule number three, patience. Patience is a bit underrated in terms of its importance in investing, but I think it is very important for a couple of reasons. 
first, you're most probably going to make more money if you're patient. Think of it like this. The company that you're investing in right now is making a huge profit. If you're impatient, you're probably gonna sell and cash in right now. But what if you waited for just a couple of years and it continued an upward trend until your investment got doubled? Then you will regret your decision of cashing in immediately. But of course, this comes with a risk. There's also a huge possibility that you will lose all your money if you wait it out. This is where researching and expecting realistically come into play. Most investors that do it as a side hustle or just for fun will complain about selling too early and that they could have made more if they just waited for a couple of years. Second, patience is the secret sauce to business success. Money doesn't come quickly. They say that if you chase money, it runs. If you make money, that's a huge difference. Money can make more money by investing and your financial growth will be bigger and bigger by the power of compounding interest. For example, you have $1,000 today and it doubles each month. So by the next month, you will have $2,000 and by the third month, your $2,000 will double making it 4 and then 8, 16, 32 and so on. But keep in mind that this compounding interest works both ways, up and down. The more you earn, the faster you will earn. And the more you lose, the faster you will lose. So your goal is to learn where and how to effectively double your money and manage the risk. You might have heard of Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha. He always talked about the importance of patience and is one of the greatest investors of all time. He approached the game with patience, analysis of what works, and value-driven strategies. Rule number four, look where no one's looking. As we all know, this pandemic killed some huge industries, tourism, transportation, retail, healthcare, to name a few. So one might think that these are not good businesses to start the new year with, but are they? Today, everyone is looking at businesses that are booming, online stores, social media, marketing, financial services, Zoom. But try to look at the old industries. They certainly need to step up. Something has to change for them to survive the next crisis. So look at innovations for those industries and stop going for the hot industries right now. Another advantage is that there will be less competition and you will have a lot of legroom to work on. Look where no one is looking. With this approach, the next Amazon, Google, or Tesla will rise for sure. There are only two possibilities to a dying industry. One, it will be dead forever. And two, it will have a makeover. It will be innovated by entrepreneurs. Take for example the printing industry. It is certainly dying for a couple of years now. That's why these companies are making the switch digitally through their websites, social media, podcasts, and even YouTube channels. Rule number five, plan your moves in advance. Here's a thought. Most people don't have financial goals simply because they're afraid that they won't be able to hit them. And that's the problem right there. How can they get what they want if they don't know what they want? One of the most rewarding feelings in life is when you achieved your own goals. You feel so fulfilled when you achieve that and you will look back to the hard work that you had done just to get that goal. That's why you need a purpose, why you're doing this. These goals can be divided into smaller sub-goals to make it not too overwhelming. Then work hard to achieve those first and before you know it, you've achieved your main purpose. This will also guide you if you're unsure about your next move. Just think about the best logical step to move forward. This is also a very helpful way to start saving for yourself and stop unnecessary and impulsive spending. So it will make you more self-disciplined about your earnings and that will result in you saving more money in the future. Rule number six, people that tell you to stay away from debt don't know what they're talking about. Again, I might get criticized for this, but there are many types of debt. I'm not talking about having debt that you won't be able to pay. What I'm saying is to use your debt wisely. You need to think about the purpose of why you're taking a loan and how you're gonna be able to pay it back in time. For example, 
You have this great business idea that you need to execute right away, but don't have the huge capital. Well, taking a business loan can save you. But again, think about it wisely. It will not be easy and it will take a long time to recover. But don't look at debts as this evil monster that you must avoid at all costs because it can save you in some situations. Credit cards are good too, as they will create a solid credit score. That can help you in getting a house if they saw that you can pay your debt regularly. Another thing is when done properly, debts can kickstart your profit in the first few months of your business. But again, use it with precaution. If you made a mistake in your decision, it can haunt you for the rest of your life. It is a double-edged sword. Be careful on how to use it. So just be careful when taking a loan. Think of its purpose. Is it really necessary? How are you planning to pay it back? And always have a plan B. Rule number seven, what can't you see? Always be critical. Question everything and look for what's missing because what you can't see is what usually gets you. Stop assuming that you're always right because it will stop you from learning new things. Always question your core beliefs, what you learned when you were a kid, what other people tell you. Validate everything. Don't let emotions ruin your logical thinking. Be optimistic, but don't be a fool. That's it. That's the seven rules of money to consider for 2022. Hope you learned something from this and truly help you to achieve your financial goals for next year. Keep in mind the most important rule, money is a game. Play by the rules and you will make more money in no time. That's all for now. As usual, this is Investment Tribe. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe to the video.